Oh, hey there. Wow. Oh, we. It's. <laughs> it's been a year <laughs> since I've uploaded. But that's just. That's just something. Now, I don't really feel like spending a lot of time editing clips together from some game. Because uh, that's work. And I don't like work. Me, me and work have a uh, interesting relationship. And it's. I, I don't do work. And that's it. So, so instead of doing all that work, let's just take a little look at what I've been programming, you know, because, you know, that's not work. I've already been doing it, you know, I just, I just put it in the video and bam, bada bing, bada boom. And you're gonna really like what I've been programming. It's very incredible. It's probably one of the most pristine things since sliced bread. It is amazing. It is unbeatable. It is so good. It is tick, tack. Toe baby, yeah, that's right. That's right. And you might be like, why is it? Why is it so impressive? And I'll tell you, you impatient piece of garbage, because I made it in JavaScript and I know nothing, nothing about JavaScript. And what's a better way to learn JavaScript than to make a shitty ass tic tac toe clone in a hundred percent pure JavaScript? I don't think there is a better way. And I should know, I'm an expert on learning programming. I'm gonna assume you're some kind of alien lizard man trying to infiltrate our government and take over the world. And because of that, you 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 know you might not know tic tac toe. So tic tac toe, it's pretty simple. There's a three by three grid, usually drawn like a double crisscross applesauce, and you have two players: one player being an O, one player being an X. Uh, the X and the O's take turns, starting with the X, and you try and get three in a row of whatever letter you are. Pretty simple, right? Yep. Okay. Well, let's let's just get into it. You know, let's just go do it. Okay, quick 10 second technical rundown on how this works. Ready? So I have a three by three grid of divs and I access the divs through the DOM. Then I open an event for clicking on divs and if you click on the div, it will replace whatever's in the div to the letter of the current player. And that's all you need for a basic tic-tac-toe. And to take it one tiny step further, I added a function to check if there's a winner and to do fancy things when somebody wins. There, done, tic-tac-toe, bam. But that's not interesting enough. I I would like to add AI um, using a the minimax function. Now I don't really know how the minimax function uh, works, so instead of me explaining it, how about a robot explains it? Because a robot can explain another robot better than I can. That makes sense, right? Right? <laughs> Take it away, Mr. Robot. The missile knows where it is at all times. It knows this because it knows where it isn't. By subtracting where it is from where it isn't, or where it isn't from where it is, whichever is greater, it obtains a difference or deviation. No, not that script, dude. The, the other one. Come on, we, we, we rehearsed this, dude. Come on. Just... 
Take it away. The idea of Minimax is that they're in a two-player game. One player is trying to maximize some form of score and another player is trying to minimize it. In tic-tac-toe the win of O might be scored as plus 1-0 oh, and the win of X is minus 10. O would be the max player trying to maximize the final score and X would be the min player trying to minimize the final score. O is called the max player because when it is O's move, O needs to choose a move that maximizes the outcome after that move. When X players, X needs to choose a move that minimizes the outcome after that move. These rules are applied recursively, so that e.g. if there are only three board positions open to play, the best play of O is the one that forces X to choose a minimum value move, whose value is as high as possible. The algorithm creates a tree of possible moves. Let's look at one. We start by providing the algorithm a possible move that the AI can take. Then the next turn is X. There are three possible moves X can make. Then it becomes O's maximizing turn again. For each of the three moves that could have previously been made by X there are two moves that O can make. If either of them win, or there is a tie, the recursive loop is terminated. After termination, a minimizing node will choose the lowest of its children and a maximizing node will return the highest value of its children until we get back to the initial move. This allows the algorithm to avoid losing while also maximizing its chances at winning. Now watch this disgusting human pig molest this beautiful algorithm by implementing it in his shitty tic-tac-toe game. Okay, so I also added three difficulties because I thought it was cool. Um, okay, so that that about does it for tic tac toe. It looks it looks pretty nice. I I have to pat myself on the back for that one. You know, uh, AI works great. It's probably the best AI ever made. Oh, speaking of uh, uh, AI, take take a look at this guy. This guy over here. You see this? You see this shit? You see this garbage? This is my good old friend, good old pal Frogos version of Tic-Tac-Toe and its AI. Now his AI 
has a shit ton of if statements and is really retarded and just stupid, just shitty. Just never, never use this. Um, but that leads me on to the next talking point, which is my Discord. You should join it. Link in the description. Go join it. Go join it. Go join it. It's dead. Please join it. Please. Please. <laughs> Alright, thanks for watching. Uh, see you in a year.